I guess how can you explain it? You don't. First of all, you don't need to explain your face, right? If you've got like, I think we have to accept. You know, Kardashians are going to be a permanent part of our culture until they until they're not until they cancel themselves nothing's going to change they essentially wrote the playbook for you know what it means to be an instagram girl right that kind of face that body everyone kind of looks like even kylie's best mate best mate right that she hangs out i don't know what her name is but she basically looks like her all their friends look like her um you know they're all clones of each other um but you can say that kind of original face that original body came from the, the kardashian clan cool okay no problem they're going to be part of our permanent part of our culture is what it is and they enjoy um you know they enjoy looking cute right their whole world revolves around what they look like they get paid for it they get endorsed by it so it would make sense that they'd go out of their way to get people like run dr ronda patrick involved and get them to have some kind of you know be their i don't know um medical assist uh what advisor or something i don't know whether they they play their role um in the series but it shouldn't be a surprise that they, you know, like to get under the knife sometimes, right? Like to, you know, make some alterations here and there or, you know, drink, you know, do this crazy new diet because it's going to help them look like this. It doesn't matter. It's all well and good. We just accept it and move on. But I guess the the annoying part of it is when they try and pretend like they haven't got anything done, like as if they're just nat pure au natural. We know it's not the case and it's okay. Um, I think women should be allowed to, you know, do as much as they want to their bodies if it makes them feel better about themselves cool run yourself ragged the funny part of it is especially in, well, in my personal life i've always done i've always kind of posed this question whenever i meet or i bump into like a random girl at a nightclub or something and we get chatting in the smoking area just as a just as a not even as a hookup line just like as a, a bit of banter i always kind of pose the question oh do you think you could do do you think you could look as hot as x girl like in rihanna beyonce if you had the same budget they had right and every girl would say yes and it always su surprised me because you know some of the girls that said it were you know you know like universally clapped right you can't really improve on something when the base is you know clapped clapped but having seen what Chloe Kardashian globes kind of gone through i've i'm now come to the realization that maybe some of those girls were right that if you have got access to some of the best medical professionals, you have all the money in the world all the time, which is maybe really important. You don't have a life that's really stressful, right? You're not earning like 13,000 a year and having to pay a thousand pound rent a month or something, right? Um, you don't have, you know, kids with no parents and, you know, well, you have children, but you don't, you, you don't have a support system to look after your kids that's adding to the stress and just in general right life is just hunting you down you live in a place where the climate's really fucked up and you know hurts your skin all those things will affect it but if you're somebody that has all those things you know in check and you have disposable income you probably could glow up to a really astronomical level if you're committed to it because of course it requires you to really work hard and train and you know um abstain from eating certain things and maybe not drinking as much and doing many drugs and you know it, it, it it's, there's going to require a lot of sacrifices but if you can do it i'm pretty sure you could glow up in a big way if you want to but again it requires a lot of work so i want to hear what her actual explanation behind this is let's see oh shit kardashian responded to fans saying she got a face plant transplant says here yeah, i can remember last week when kardashian instantly dropped this photo yeah there we go um comments about the photo range from i have i love chloe but fuck did she not need to do so much facetime face tune sorry she doesn't even look like herself another one says um i don't care about the kardashians when did they recast chloe but yeah objectively that doesn't look like chloe kardashian does it come on but let's see what she definition is so like chloe's name was, st was straight up trending on twitter for a solid day um that's how confused everyone was yeah exactly but i think if you like again the, the picture here i got on the screen is chloe like i don't know this is like 2000s whatever uh, this is like chubby chloe the, the chloe kardashian everyone liked because she's gone for a bit of a transformation in that regard too in it right she went from the chubby funny girl that everyone liked in the kardashian to now the girl that everyone hates because she got back she hooked back up with her child's uh, her father <laughs> it's pretty funny how the internet changes how do you do it flips on you in it but i think if she lost weight inside eating healthily she probably could get somewhere close to that but god damn it let's see explanation anyway so uh bye everyone shocked so chloe didn't initially respond to the drama of a photo uh but she just hit her instagram comments to get a little shady writing from my weekly face transplant clearly in response to the okay weekly face transplant what let's see okay it's another one of her okay so <laughs> This is the this is the picture. It said the the Monday is ever. It says yeah. Why do you look so different in all the pictures? It says from my weekly face transplant. Clearly. 
And that doesn't explain anything, innit? She's a little bit ditzy in that regard, no? It's not a bad thing, innit? Because she's not, you know, she's not going to be a Nobel Prize winner anytime soon. But what kind of explanation? When someone asks you why it looks so different in all your pictures, and you say because I got weekly face transplant, what does that mean? I guess you just got a face tune, innit? It is what it is, innit? Who cares? It's probably not news, but interesting, innit? Very interesting. Because it's just, again, maybe it's an American thing. I think all the UK girls, especially the, I don't watch any of that shit, but I'm assuming all the Love Island girls aren't shy about saying the amount of work they get done, right? No one's denying that they get work done. It is what it is, isn't it? Because it's quite clear, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I wonder why they hide it. It's just, it's not a big deal. You've got, you've got your face done. It is what it is, isn't it? Keep it moving.